since just before six got the ebay just done i did these last night all the um brickling orders and there's two more that i gotta pack up real quick they're like ten dollar orders so that should take me five minutes or less and then we not quite move on to that move on to this uh, my son we built what he could and i just have to verify the quality and all the good stuff in there and then i have a few more i don't always give them every card because there's always some that I can, that I know that you probably can't rebuild, or I'd like to rebuild just to make sure. Actually, uh, all of these here were sold this morning. I just did. These are the only ones that I couldn't give to them. There's things I like done certain ways, and some we don't have, so we'll get those rebuilt. All right, here's another order from a supporter of our channel here. Uh, the Raz or Chris is his name. He sent me these. Uh, extra yellow trays so thanks again he said uh hey derek i saw the nick fury in your vlog and had to get it have a great day nice yeah i was surprised to find him too from the helicarrier that expensive uh, set that came out a huge set with the micro figures all the statues they had so many figs i like that they did that i've had that one and then the maria can't remember the name of that person maria hill I've had her, I've gotten an eBay lot before, so there it is, the order, free shipping. I still have 15 minutes and I'm sh my shipping's done before I have to start my normal job. So first thing I'm going to do, I put all my stuff on top of my cart underneath. This doesn't actually, it's supposed to be on the top, it's supposed to be in the drawer, but I don't really use the drawer for anything, so it's a good non-skid, I guess, kind of. <laughs> Need to clean that off a little. Um, but I'm going to pull the drawers that have space in them for that stuff on the table. Hopefully get that table cleared off. I want to clean that, wipe it down real good. It's been a few weeks. And see what else we're going to part out later this week. Um, so, I'm just looking for empty drawers. Don't see any. Hardly any. Here we go. There's one there. So, I'll just fill this all the way up uh, with stuff and then take it over to my desk. There we go. Let's move this over closer to my desk over here. And then um, my strategy on this was I bought like 11 of each character. That's the, the number of sets I like to part out typically, 11 to 16. Because um, 11 is a good number. I can do five on eBay, five to Bricklink, you know, a combination of part out and complete, and then one to convention stuff. If I have 16 part out I could do, which I might start doing that, I'll have more for conventions if, you know, I'm waiting for that to start happening. <laughs> um, again, so, it's a wait and see. It should start happening next year, but you never know. Um, so I can't wait to get to this. I gotta rebuild my eBay first, though. Alright, we're done with rebuilding here. I just placed, uh, I think three orders off my wanted list. Um, and I'm pulling up my wanted list now. So it was at one over 170. Maybe it was at 190. What did I order? Uh, so I just placed. So the, I definitely took 25 items off. It must have been 190. I was thinking. So those are the three orders I placed this morning. That one is only like 40 dollars US. I think something like that yeah just around forty dollars us and uh yeah one funny thing is i got this um sent back to me from may 23rd i just got it yesterday november 16th <laughs> it's crazy it's a jester this is castle jester all right just got done relisting all my rebuilds let's check our number i'm pretty sure it's over 1400 yes I think you saw yesterday morning it was like at 1401 still, on Monday morning. Didn't have too much selling in them. That's a very healthy number. Alright, so we're on to this. Got my desk cleared. Hardly anything to do on there. Uh, I got end up getting 12 of these. My son bought one. 
like all these all these items I think I might have mentioned that this is all stuff he wanted except a few that I wanted to reorder and then I just put quantities in after what he wanted so maybe that works business wise other people might want what a 12 year old wants so we'll see <laughs> um, so the first thing I did is I pulled this up and then I see there's there's two characters there's, that have it so I'm, I'm actually gonna make this character I've already pulled this from my Brickling store and I'm quite sure I need reddish brown legs should be right there and I'm pretty sure I have a head in here for that one um, I have two of these bins I'm not seeing it in that one I have two bins here that have dual sided heads so I know I have it here it is right here See, it's not like the, um, there's two heads that have that scream, but this is the newer version. So we got a complete figure coming in. So even though the, the wood piece is new, obviously not everything was new. So I just listed it as use nature photographer tree disguise. 595 plus it'll have a sale coming shortly. So I'm going to do three on uh, my, three of these are going to my $2.50 bin or five for 10. And the rest will put on Bricklink. Now this is an awesome minifigure. I love the head. It's a transparent color. And he is, uh, what's his name? Ice, this is Ice Emperor Zane, so. I don't know, I don't watch the show, he must have turned into a bad Ice Emperor. <laughs> Something like that. Alright, we got an order for our Brick Forge. I didn't place it. But, uh, my son did, and... They sent me a letter so I'll read that here in a bit um, but here's the order some cool stuff pitchfork nice so I was informed that this is the order here that was paid for and this was all thrown in so someone got excited so thank you if you're watching this oh we're getting to the good stuff <laughs> why didn't I buy 200 of each all right, I'm opening Monday's mail here on Tuesday. I just got done putting all that stuff for sale. So this is a Bricklink order from a minifig galore store. Always have some good stuff there. Good prices and good quality for used. Got some new stuff as well. And this also came in the mail. Glows green. We thought talking about me and my son. They only make, I think, green and red light ups. Is that right? Yeah. Everything we've ever had is green or red, so. Um, this is actually a pretty hard one to get. I ended up paying 24 bucks free shipping out the door. They wanted they wanted 40 bucks, and I kept offering 20. I got up to 22. They kept countering like 28, 27. And finally, after like three days of that go by, I said, 24 is just the last offer I can give. <laughs> and they took it, so. Oh, I gotta squeeze out those dollars, right? Um, but it's only the only used one that was a for sale the next one was new for 60 or something like that 50 or 60 so it's in great shape um, just something about Nexo Knights. I just love Nexo Knights. some people love Chima I get it I don't I love Nexo Knights. I just find all the characters cool um, I love how this has this so I almost want to replace Lloyd don't do it anyway so I'm going to go through this the rest of the day and that should finish my day. Um, I do have two more packages from Monday. And then over there, there is uh, one, two, three, four, five packages of mail on the table that got thrown there. So, but I got everything put away. Let's check the wall here. All the drawers on this side are all turned around. A couple, except maybe there's one big one that has room in there, but I don't know if there's any other big ones that have room. Then when we get to here, these two are on my desk because I'm going to be adding stuff to them uh, on that Bricklink order. Um, but small drawer wise, we are we are really healthy. All these small drawers are filled uh, up until it's going to be at least 22.48 there. That one's still up. Still got that to open. The other package I got to open with it will be here tomorrow, Wednesday. And then I'll have a record a video before the weekend and have that come out this Sunday coming up and uh, so yeah 
I'm going to start get to this, get this numbered because I'm not going to be doing any expansion. And in December, I'm going to try to take it easy. Uh, but once January hits, I have two. Not sure if I'll do it in January, but January, February, March. I'm going to install the four rows here. And then I'm also going to get rid of all of this. At least I'm going to get rid of this. It's just not a very high quality thing. It works for what I do with it now. None of this is for sale. It's just sorting, like basically sorting everything. You know, I'll get rid of that. I, I don't know. I don't need bins of pieces. Or I might get a couple of them and kind of sort bigger quantities into them. Those are all like organization of stuff I've sorted. There's not much in there though. A lot of this is just wasted space. And I want to build out to here somewhere. Um, have a, a, a workbench type of deal. Kind of like a sorting table for smaller stuff. And kids can build on it. We just end up just throwing stuff all over. Uh, but here's the sorting table. Which it is looking good. I just got to get another couple hours of sorting and I'll start adding some stuff. Um, but yeah. So that's a little update on the on the room and the part out piles are still there someone wants some pieces out of here so this one will probably be the next one we do they want the uh, welder's mask and I think that's it not sure but anyway I got it backward we're getting down there we're getting low on stuff to part out and I'm hoping to get it all parted out by the end of January. All right, so the end of the day on Tuesday. Look at that healthy number. I think I already just showed these kind of. I don't really remember. <laughs> um, but I did get uh, one pretty big order in there, 1,200 parts, 41 lots. So I have four orders so far today to do tonight. So that's a big one. That's uh average of like what 30 items per lot so they took up they cleared out a lot of stuff there so i like that oh before i leave on tuesday i was going to open the next thing i got through the uh that brickthink order created some minifigs got some ready for sale i got lots to go to photograph not lots i guess at least 30 around 30. and so what is this Wow. There's a lot of stuff in there. Let's open it. Alright, so here is this. I think I showed it in another video. We have a wasp. I think someone tried to kill it earlier. Well, it's not moving at least. It's got problems. <laughs> oh, we're breaking things. I knocked, I knocked the torso down of the the master tour here anyway uh, so this is an ebay auction i see i pulled it up real quick it sold for 102 with two bits at least i think they started at 99 i was the only other person to bid on it so i'm gonna bid on it originally and i bid on it at the end or so and there is stuff that's not like oh i noticed uh, but I, I like i said i did put this in the previous video this is where i had a pixel and um I saw her hair in there and it had some change in there. So it looks pretty promising. I know it has some stuff not Lego, but um, and it did show some damage, just a few things. So, um, oh, there's a penny. That's what I was looking for. So we will go through this when we get to it. I'll probably just pull out all the good stuff like I normally do. Oh, look at here's Tito. So. Looking good. Alright, so I quickly spent mm, maybe six, seven minutes going through this. Um, and there's still a lot that I could pull out, but I'm not going to now. I'm just going to put it all away. This is what I found. And we'll go on that over that last, I guess. These ones somehow got some candle wax on them. That's what I, I think it is because it comes right off. I have to look into cleaning. It's all the free, the free maker people, Star Wars, <laughs> and Toxita, whatever her name is. Got some cool. Um, is that hunted? I want to say Ninjago. This unfortunately is bad. This top of this. This one looks good, but it's. I think this top was that one. That's brown. Yeah, I don't know. 
Um, Iron, it's an Iron Lady Dragon. That's complete. That is a really good one. Not sure about that guy. Uh, but what do I do? I just kind of look at the license, try to get most of the license things, that, the themes that are not so common. Like I should take that J out. There's hair, hair trap. Nice to clean all this up. Um, I try to get all that out first as best I can. I think that might go to that guy. Um, and then eventually I'll go through the rest. But for now, we have these guys. I mean, this is stuff I can get for sale quickly if I wanted to. And then I don't know if that is Captain Rex's cape. The one that's really good. That would be very good. But this right here, I mean, I paid just over 100 bucks for it. This right here, if I saw this in a lot, I'd probably pay 75 bucks for this stuff easily. Um, if I knew it was in good shape, mostly I didn't know that was bad. But And there's more in here. You know, this is just such a good... Look at There's a Boba Fett. The legs are chewed, but the torso looks weird. Oh, it's a magnet one. So, it's got a junk. That's useless. Um, but, you know, I keep searching. I mean, I, I need this. I would buy this for like 75 cents a dollar. A lot of the stuff... Mega blocks. Um, there's a hand solo, a carbonite one. That's good. I sell that one pretty regularly. Um, ooh, this is a good thing. It's the wrong head. No, the head's right to the torso, just not the, the arms are wrong. So, so, yeah, I'm gonna clean this up and get out of here for the day. And I was just picking up everything and I just kind of go slow and pull out a few more things like the Animus, Animus Guard. Torso, is that how you I don't know. I don't know if it's great though. It looks like it has a couple nicks in it. Unfortunately. Alright, here's the, the big American order. And other major 725, let's see how long it takes. Alright, it took 22 minutes or so. Um, this is all the used here. It's like four or five different items. Not very many of it, but this is a big quantity of it. And then <laughs> there's more. This is definitely going to be. A medium flat rate. I'm going to get that out now. I'm not going to put it in the big bag. I'm just going to bubble wrap uh, and the, uh, you know line it with it and then see if it all fits in there once I get these bagged up. It's a big one. All right, there it is. Medium flat rate box. This will be like, I want to say $13.50 to ship it. Not 100% sure, but pretty simple. And uh, that's it for that one. I have three more to go. They're small. All right, we got another box from eBay because people wanted to look through some new stuff. So I said I'll open it for them and they can get out the good stuff for me. And should we dump this the whole thing out? Because ooh, okay, I know which one this is. I think I paid about I think it was it was one eighty and then with shipping and tax it was just over 200 and there is I think there's 180 minifigures in here and there's some good stuff in here lots of good stuff not really good but definitely definitely nice stuff so we will go through this in another video I'll see oh that obviously is fake there um, I did I remember it did say that um, I don't know about that, but um, we will uh, let's see what we find. All right, some highlights, I guess. Mm. Lots of animals, and then I've never had this color boat. I've never seen that, and I've never seen that monkey before. So, let's check those out tomorrow. Alright, we're on Wednesday, November 18th. I forgot I never showed uh, our new travel trailer. I'll have to try to get footage of that <laughs> soon. Um, so here's Bricklink. I have all of them packed up except the top one. So I got the 41 1200 part order there. You saw that previous to this 
and I just have to do 19 lots here and Brick Owl I have the bottom one packed up, just got to do those two so I have three orders to pack up this morning and then with uh, eBay of 19 items so should have this way done before uh, 7 a.m. All right, my uh, same process every morning. Ship everything out, rebuild what I can. That's why I have these cards so I can easily. Um, I just plug in the set number on uh, on eBay here. I know. I mean, I can build some of these easily. Like this Indiana Jones, I can easily build it without even looking at the picture. I know exactly what it goes. I could do it with that one, I could do it with that one. I might need to look at the accessories on that one, but I can do that one, I can do that one, I can do that one. Um, accessory I have to look at, I can do that one. Accessory I'll have to look at, I can do that one. Don't have that one. All right, this is, uh, these are five of these. I'm gonna put them together as a lot and term it on eBay as an eBay lot. Get more visibility that way. So we have five of those, I have 13 total. I think six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Well, my son did want one of these, so he took one of those. So, not one of these. So, um, so the other seven, I'll probably do a couple of the convention and then part out three, and then the full figures, the rest on on uh, Bricklink. So, get that done, and then move on to Nia from that set. Then we have this one. And this one, and then this is the AIM Agents, and then Black Panther. So, a bunch of sets I parted out recently because now getting to the minifigs, which is okay. Alright, we're back to opening the mail. That came Monday and Tuesday. Today's Wednesday, so let's get this open real quick. Alright, first package open, and I did mention this before, but I thought there's only red and green clocks. Apparently there's an orange. I don't think I've ever had an orange one. There could be a blue one too. I don't know. Stop turning off, but they got some wrong times. There's, we're in the PM right now. It is not in the PM. So, either way, go place these real quick and get to the next pieces. Alright, I just opened up the rest of the mail here. So, this is a all Star Wars Advent stuff. It has a, this Darth Vader, the original Darth Vader in there. C-3PO. Um, the Christmas tree guy. I think it's 23 figures and I got it for a total after shipping and everything like 53 bucks. So not a super great deal, but definitely profitable. Pretty good. Double that money on that somewhere around there. So there's easily identifiable, identifiable characters because of the advent. So real quick and easy to get up for sale. We'll put mostly up. Most, of, most of that's going to be brick link, all the basic stuff, and then this Darth Vader on eBay and stuff. I went to this store. This is the store that bought all my white studs, all those gems for me <laughs> a few videos back. I got my county scale out, same store. So I needed some of these for my Nexonite guy. And then they had like, some good prices on these. I think these are like under a dollar each. And then these are, I think, seven bucks each. I think the, the whole pack is a little too much and it's less work for me, obviously, because I've already parted out probably about 20, 30 of the packs. They're just getting more expensive, so I just want to stock up on Beetlejuice while I could before they're all gone. <clears throat> I just got all shields. It's like seventy dollars worth of stuff here. So I was getting low on the Indian shields, so there's a huge quantity. It may not look like a lot. Oh, I got I ended up getting the Series Three one there, um, but there's I think about a hundred items in there, roughly. A lot of these were under a dollar or right around a dollar. And then I got to this store for the Quicksilver head. I found his body in great condition, and then I got some other stuff I needed. I threw in there, and then this was an eBay order. Ten of these were just under 30 bucks out the door. I was like, whoa, they were just listed. But I, and I looked, because I'm already getting 25 of these soon uh, from another purchase I made that you'll see in another video. And I was like, wow, these are actually going for over $5 each, mostly four to five in lots. So I got a good deal on them. So I'm just going to throw those back for a little while. They all have 23 pieces apparently. So first time I've ever had these. So these are pretty cool. I'm not sure if I'm not going to part out or I'm going to check prices and see what's what's the best thing to do with these still. All right, here's the quick better look at the uh, Advent. And they said in the listing that these were uh, just not played, but they were just built and displayed. So. 
that is always a plus to know what you're getting instead of a pile of stuff you're not even sure some could be damaged you know I won't have to complain about quality obviously um, guess let's check one here oh we got a wasp flying in my face landed up there I better take it out um, so Darth Vader I mean, the torso looks amazing. Not cracked. Not cracked. So yeah, definitely believe that. There's no scratches at all. It looks pristine, so best you can get nowadays. All right, got to run in today at my lunch. 7.40 average, not too bad. Now we got to get to this. And I did take two hours off on Thursday. That's tomorrow, and then an hour off Friday, because it's going to be 60 tomorrow, and then in the 50s on Friday so enjoy it while you can all right here's uh these are three bricklink orders that I already had I just realized I never went through them um so I gotta get through that and then this is the one piece of mail for today another brick this is the same seller as this one so got more I think I'm good on Indian uh shields for a while <laughs> kind of went nuts on them that's all right and that's look at I just got the C-3PO torso Santa C-3PO and I just got that ready for sale so I'll have another one ready for sale. Oh I need to pick me up. This is where I keep my extra bubble wrap that I you know, cut up envelopes that I get and uh, I also hide my candy here. All right all the mail has been gone through here on Wednesday and I was able to create these. I can uh Probably, I don't. I think he's been not for sale for a while. He might be able. I might be able to relist him. I can relist all this. I don't think I can do that one. I'll check him as I go, but definitely do that one. That one. I don't think I can do that one. And I think I think the rest I can do. So we'll get these listed, and I don't know. Um, move on to this massive amount of stuff I have. Ooh, I like this one. This was this is like a ten dollar lot. I found I had a bunch of Nexolite Night stuff. It was just ninety nine cent auction, ten bucks shipping, or something like that. And I won it with the only bid. So I'll go through that first. All right. So we got the eBay relisted, and um, let me check here my store. Look at the lot count. It is going good. And there's a number of my son's parting on another set for me uh, as we speak, so we'll have that listed in a day or two. And I would like to photograph tonight, but I don't know if I will. It doesn't look like a lot in here. Uh, there's a lot of new with the multiples there, things like that, but it's it's not as full as I usually do, but I could, I could take care of it. All right, so I got a, three trays out. It's nice to have more than two. And they're all close to me. Um, there's an arm I could probably put on somebody. Um, anyway, just basic parts of this, this mega box. Get that out of there. Um, so this is pretty much all the good stuff here. There's, I don't think there's actually one complete figure. There is an exo book with the, the tile in there. I'm not sure which one this is. It's the book of deception, I think, at the question mark. Let me look. I, uh, I'm waiting on stuff for two of them. This this will tell me if it's the one I need because it has the tile in there. Let's set this down. It is. So I will put this one right in there and immediately list it for sale on eBay. Ready to go. So yeah, um, I guess I can put this away. Back up here for now. Uh, books. Let's put it in the book tile. And uh, so yeah, I'm just going to go through and try to list as much of this as I can. Uh, I'll probably end up just throwing this here. I'm about done working for the day um, in about 10 minutes and get to it tomorrow. But I got all the good stuff out and the rest will go into my sorting table over there. So this one came in just two sets. The, uh, the Dino Attack sets in 2005. It's not really worth much. 
38 cents, people want 40 cents, so not a very in-demand part, I'm guessing. All right, just got done recording my comments uh, video, and I was going to do this tutorial on the video, but I couldn't figure it out. I didn't find buy availability, but I found it. It's at the top. So if you go to my store inventory, it brings you here, and you click buy availability. Oh, do they? Wow, Aldi's has uh, Lego sets as we do our shopping. So, um, yeah, we'll let the parents get them. I don't need them. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, I think this must be the one that it gets put in uh, from Brick Owl, right? So this is what they what this is what you do. You click that, I guess. You click that stockroom box and click delete items. And where do you delete the items? I think it's down here somewhere. Um, <clears throat> delete items, so make sure I don't have that available done. So just that one I want to delete. Submit. And it's gone. What's in here? I don't... Oh, these were ones that were returned either way these are ones that just went to the zero stock room from bricklink themselves not the brick owl so everything has been deleted that's that's nice all right one order for brick owl three for bricklink another brick owl just packed it up 61 61 lots yeah so and then there's uh, one decent sized one in here get that done and then i don't know if i'm going to do this or photograph tonight on wednesday night we are Lloyd doesn't want to tell me the time right now. He's got his back turned to me. 7.14. Somebody wanted to check this out. So you open one. Alright, we're doing this. Full swing I have. I'm entering the new parts. And my son is looking for the drawer numbers and putting stuff away. Make sure it fits. So, see how long it takes. 7.40. We just started about two minutes ago. Let's go. All right, my part is done. Just got a couple more to put away of the white and one yellow. And I'm just, I'm just gonna make sure that all the numbers are in there. I normally don't do that, but I get distracted when I do it this way. It's just a different process and I've been doing it every time. Which is always a good idea, I guess. Double check your work. Whether the numbers are right or not, I don't know, but they're all in there. They all have numbers. Um, this is the JB's lab. I think I got it for $9 on the July, the late July Walmart clearance. Seven sets, 70, nine times seven is $63, roughly. This is not the minifigs either, or the, or the ghost part. So it's just the one guy has a ghost part in the set, but so minifigs are not much, but either way, we're adding 1,100 parts on a Wednesday night. So that is a win. And that, so it's 8.03, we started what? 7.27, took us just over half an hour, is that right? I don't remember when I started it. About a half an hour to add all these parts. It's gotta put these drawers away now, and those are slowly disappearing. All right, last day of the vlog, Thursday. What do we got going on? 35 items to ship. This is a Bricklink seller like an hour from me. It is selling their store. Crazy. Um, don't have the money to buy it, but I might save for it. Um, this is Brick Owl. I have everything. I have the 61 lot pack. I need to do the 4 and the 20. This is Bricklink. Uh, the t top two is it? seven and three lots I need to pack up so let's get going all right now shipping is out the door got a photograph it's not too much so this is decided to do it during the morning it's gonna make a couple labels here and I'm gonna use that for photos you want to know the best series 15 tribal woman and laser mac are the first two I sold out of somebody gave me a tip here and uh, North Carolina, University of North Carolina, got an order in. Um, I don't know how to see it, but 
They have, let's see. So we do UNC Lego. Student Stores Lego. And right here, you just Google it. And a lot of things are half price. So I just bought them out of a few things. I should not show any more of these. What does show? See the cart. Um, <clears throat> either way, got some good stuff. The gang's all here. All right, the photos are relatively painless. I did the new ones first and already listed them. Just get them out of the way and put away. So, just gotta list these. Got the photos added to the computer here. And then, um, really gotta rebuild these and we'll see where we're at on eBay. And I'll just work on this. See what we can get else we can do today. All right, just listen to the last one I photographed and I'm gonna rebuild. I'm having a look at how many have for sale. We'll find out after this and if I get any bricklink orders, maybe I can do those and then we'll do a reveal at the end of the day. Maybe, we'll see. All right, we got this piece of mail from FedEx. And I haven't been looking much for these, but Best Buy is who has them. Somebody bought one, there's yours. I got the rest. All right, FedEx also dropped this off with those battle packs. And this is from um, Goodwill. I think it was around $75, and then the shipping was, I think, 20 So it was around 90 some dollars I got this for. And I know there's a lot of um, non-Lego. Oh, there's a sealed set in there. I have already have one of these. Nice. I can part it out now. I have another sealed one. I would, don't necessarily like parting out that small of a quantities, but that's nice. I, 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 didn't, I don't think I saw that in the listing. That alone is like 20 bucks, roughly. Look at that. I don't know how many figures are in here. I really don't know. And like I said, there's a lot of stuff that's not Lego. I could see not a lot, but it was sprinkled throughout. And, uh,. Ooh, there's a nice base plate. Looks, oh, it's got a little, it's got a little stress mark actually. Not the best. Got stickers for that set. That's nice. That's what's cool about these Goodwill ones. They just throw it all in here, and you can just get so much different things. We have Barbie Mega Blocks. Looks like an older. It's an older one, late '90s or so, early 2000s. Um, Anyway, let's see what we can open up. All right, so we cranked open the first bag, and right away, um, these are worth about five bucks each. We found this guy, I just put for sale on eBay today. I had one, it's Indian. And like, like I said, the picture was just everything in a, this isn't Lego, in just thrown in a pile. And you couldn't see, it's probably 75% of what you're getting. And that's why I've been, I think the, Auction didn't get so high. The bag of friends stuff. I opened this up. The parts are in there for that. Um, I just better pull out some of this stuff. I know is worth it. Ooh, yeah. So I'm gonna have fun with these. A little collector here. Um, oh, this this is Lego, isn't it? I've seen these before. I never knew. Yeah, someone's taking out all the army men. Yeah, because my brother will love them. So, so yeah, just get an idea. Of, <laughs> here we go. Here's a minifigure. I know there there was like a couple Harry Potter ones to one of the big sets. Um, oh, Buzz Lightyear. So this is one that has not been minifigure, has not been taken out of. Just all thrown in here. These are the best ones to get when you can tell that they haven't taken anything out of it. And it's just the way it is. Oh, yep, here's oh here's the alien to that uh, instruction book here. Hopefully all these homes. So we got Buzz and we got the alien so far. Anything, so I think this will be my this will be a sometime this weekend. I'll just take it upstairs and go we'll go through it together. Uh, because this is gonna be a good one. Value wise, I mean for what I paid for it, it's good. So that's that, and then we'll, we'll leave that one for another day. Another score, as I was going to close it up, I saw the, bl the, the blonde hair in there. 
but that goes to the set with these stickers so that's a really good one okay so the kids went crazy uh, they got literally the gallon ziploc bag of uh like little army men and dinosaurs out of there um these are all the same set got a bunch of minifigs got the dinosaur now um that we found i think that might go to that bus i don't know um Got some vehicles there, got an airplane, um, so yeah, looks like a space police vehicle. Like I said, we'll take this up this weekend, I told him, and really dump it out and get all the stuff out of there. Oh, and the night bus is coming, I saw that, I actually did see that in the pictures, that seemed like there's a bunch of other parts, so I just started a bag for it. Somebody wanted those for their collection, those are actually Lego. All right. I have all of everything relisted that I could rebuild. You see the number. I don't, I don't remember what my record was last week. I think it was a little higher than that, 1470s. Not 100% sure, but... Um, ooh, I'm getting delivered from LEGO today. I just got a uh, text message from DHL. Awesome, another big one. Anyway, that'll be in the next video. And um, so 1465 on eBay. Bring on Black Friday. All right, that's it for now. I got another thing of mail. Came, they came a second time for some reason, but I had some of this up. All the shields and some other things out of there. Oh boy, this is the box I was waiting for to do that other video, and then I got another one of these from Denmark. And then another eBay order. And we uh, parted out another set today. Uh, the beach buggy. I think I had seven of these. So I'm gonna try to get those added. I'm gonna pull five orders now, get these put away, film a video for that, along with that. It's like literally $1,300 worth of stuff in all those boxes. Whew, sounds like a lot. <laughs> Gotta clean this up, get this out of here. And then we will keep on pressing forward. Keep on doing it, keep on filling the wall. Walls, it's going good. Got to get more numbered over here soon. Got to part out some used sets.